This is Christine Vendel at the Ames plant in Harrisburg where 85% of the country's wheelbarrows are made. They start with a pre-cut piece of steel sheet that's fed into a machine where the tub is made and the excess steel is cut off of the edge. A robot helps to move the tubs. It was a $273,000 investment for the machine with the robot. Then the tubs are put into a machine to take off the excess scrap metal and curl the lip, uh, the edge of the wheelbarrow. The Ames factory makes all of their own parts, 200 components in all. It starts with a spool of sheet steel that is then made through five different steps and the part is kicked out on the other side. The bins are put on racks with components already hung there to prepare for painting. The oil and dirt is washed off at this process. Then the tubs are dipped in paint and baked at 350 degrees to cure the paint for 25 minutes. Next the name is added. Today they're making true temper wheelbarrows and these workers are silk screening the name on. On other days, they'll be making blue wheelbarrows with the Jackson logo. They can also do specialized logos for companies. The tubs are stacked on pallets and moved down for packaging. The components are processed separately. They come along the assembly line and then workers open boxes tape the bottom of the box and start packing them in a special order, special orientation to keep them in the smallest box, adding a wheel assembly. They also add uh, smaller parts and a wedge to level the tub. Finally, the items are prepared for shipping on pallets. They go either by rail or by tractor trailer truck across the country to distribution centers.